Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Oh, I've missed you YouTube, I've missed you. Kinda like my father in this relationship and just absent for large periods of time. <laughs> but I've made an add-on, I'll let you be the judge of it, I'll leave the link in the description down below, it is available for free. But just to give you a little bit of background information, I need to be able to diagnose a blender scene without looking at it. Now it sounds counterintuitive, but I need to do this quickly. So I've made a whole bunch of tools, I've packaged them together, I've made it a UI. Uh, is it the best when it comes to code? Definitely not. I'll quickly go through the list and hopefully you'll see value in this. If not, it's not the add-on for you. So on the right hand side you can see your render toolbox. We have scene diagnostics. Now what this will do is it'll give you a whole diagnostics of your scene. Uh, things like add-ons enabled, things like animation data, constraints, modifiers, scene breakdowns, cameras, everything pretty much. Everything that I could think of. I've made a nice save scene button here. Now the reason for this is you need to save your scene in order for this add-on to work. Uh, the reason for this is it actually writes to the working directory and it'll give you a text file. Extract assets. Now this is the one I think most people will be interested in. So what this will do is it'll pretty much find any assets attached to the scene. Now if you're unaware when you're using Blender, it doesn't pack everything up, things like VDB sequences, image sequences, VDBs on their own, uh, what else, a whole bunch of things in all honesty, including things like fonts. So when you click Extract Assets, it'll pretty much gather everything and I'll put it in a folder for you. And I'll show you this working in a second. The next one down is we have the animation report, and this is really good for breaking things down like constraints linked to objects, objects with modifiers, or objects with drivers, stuff like this. It's really good if you're an animator. The open working directory, it seems so is basic, but what this will do is it'll open the working directory. The uh, next thing we have is the material report. This will give you a whole breakdown in materials, what nodes you're using, if the node's connected, if there's a texture connected, stuff like this. Data block report. So data block report will pretty much give you everything inside of the Blender file. It goes a lot more into detail and I'm grabbing more information that I probably need. Visibility report. Now I don't know if you've ever went to render and you've left something disabled in the render engine. This is why I wrote this. So this will give you a quick overview and you should be able to tell very quickly if something's disabled. Make, copy and zip. Now be aware, the larger you're seeing, the slower this plugin essentially becomes because it needs to extract everything. So what this will do is it'll make a backup copy of your .blend file and it'll zip everything up. And anything inside of that folder, it'll attempt to grab as well. So just be aware of your file sizes. And moving on to the next one is find and save images. So if you have an RGB node, a normal, whatever, it'll try and find anything with an image and it'll save it and it'll put it in a folder for you. Incredibly good if you're starting to link stuff or make things local. Uh, export linked and textures. Now, as you can see here, I've got something like a botanic. What this will do is it'll find all the blend files and it'll find all the textures and extract them for you and it'll put it into a folder. Packed resources is essentially what happens when you go to external data. Uh, packed linked. Now be aware, this feature was implemented, I think it was 4.0, 4.1, can't remember. But essentially what this will do is it'll attempt to pack the linked files. But because it's experimental, it doesn't always necessarily work. So hence the brackets around it. Bake action. Now what I find is a lot of people use scripts and you can't necessarily use them on a render farm. So you need to bake the action. Uh, that's just a quick button. Make local. Pretty much the exact same when you go to object. Lighting report and mesh report. So I'll show you a few of these options. Scene diagnostics. You'll notice what it does is it writes a folder. It's called render diagnostics and I'll give you everything essentially to do with it. Including this which I found strange. So because of Windows backwards compatibility, you might be on on Windows 11, but it will actually show up as Windows 10. Anyway, I found that quite interesting. So it'll tell you enabled add-ons, linked assets and dependencies. This is incredibly good. It'll show you exactly where everything is. It'll tell you where your missing files are. It'll go through everything, scenes. Uh, so you can see here, it'll tell you what objects. It'll even tell you the heaviest mesh. So if you're struggling with rendering and you have a mesh object, it'll find this and it'll say, look, this is how many faces that essentially is. Scene visibility summary, view and render passes, it'll give you the render output settings, it'll pretty much go through every setting that I could think of. Render properties summaries, 
again it'll tell you if you're using motion bar bloom depends what engine you use now i never made this for workbench because i thought it was a bit counterintuitive so it only really does cycles in eve uh, i'll go through everything and it'll give you tracked assets and it'll give you a much more detailed breakdown camera setting summaries pretty pretty detailed in all honesty now the next one is extract assets so if i click on this you'll notice what it does is it grabs alembic files cache files image sequences so you can see here that i actually have an image sequence attached libraries it'll give you everything baked inside of the library uh, usd files no tree images now no tree image is essentially anything that's attached to a node very good comes in incredibly handy find and save images very similar but what this will do is it'll find all the images in the scene and package them up for you export linked and textures it'll grab everything that is linked so you can see here we have a whole bunch of linked assets including our textures nice nice mesh reports pretty handy now there's a little bit of continuity error and add on here you'll notice that it actually opened it inside of the text editor and it wrote a program so you can see here i'll go through all the mesh data it'll go through per collections it'll go through every single mesh that you have in the scene now i've done this with a production scene and i was like whoa that's quite a lot of data uh, and that's it. Material port's really good as well. Uh, let me just quickly show you this as well. So you can see here at top textures by resolution. So it'll actually give you resolution sizes and it'll actually give you textures by file size. And I found a file that was massive that shouldn't have been in the scene. So this can help you quickly work out if you're using massive textures essentially. Uh, it'll tell you how many materials and stuff like this. It'll go through UV maps. It'll tell you how many objects. So you can see here we have a shader node output. Stuff like this. So that's pretty much the add-on. It's not magic, in all honesty, but it should help you, especially if you're doing rendering. Anyway, you know what to do.